I'm John Vidakovich. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Born in 1949. What it means to be a New Orleans drummer is that you have a lot of responsibility because in New Orleans, drums is like a sacred instrument. I'm from a city that is a drum city and it's full of great drummers. So it's an honor, it's a privilege, it's part of an elite group, and, and, you, and, you, and, and you, got, you got to keep it together, you know. A lot of people ask me about Crawfish Fiesta, which is Professor Long has last record. Got a WC Handy Award the day it came out. I worked with, with Fess for uh, several years before, up until the time he died. And we traveled and played and uh, made a great record, Crawfish Fiesta. And I'm very proud of that and I love it. And uh, I loved everything about it. And I also played for a long time with, with, with James Booker, a uh, great New Orleans piano player. Uh, and I cut his last record too. His last record was called Classified. And uh, I was very fortunate enough to be, to be uh, on that session. Some of the characteristics of New Orleans drumming are the fact that it, we play with people describe as sometimes the rhythm is in the crack. And in the crack means it's not exactly straight eighth notes, ta 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 It's not exactly a, 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 you know, a 12 eight or, or a, 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 like a shuffle jazz, to that to that to that to that to that It's somewhere in between, between ta 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 one and two and three and four and, and it's somewhere in between one or two or three or four or one. It's somewhere like a one and two. You got me running, you got me hiding. You got me run, hide, hide, run anywhere you want to go, yo. You know, so it's sort of like in a crap, it sort of rolls like that. It's more of a linear thing as opposed to a vertical concept. So I think of it more as melodic rhythm as opposed to, melod as opposed to, to vertical timekeeping. So, for me, New Orleans drumming is very melodic. Uh, it's uh, wavy like water. It's also, uh, it's also has some, what I would call, things that are slightly inaudible. I think that's the right word. Like, I didn't, you didn't exactly hear what he was playing because it's kind of slushy, you know, like, Do that on the drums rhythmically is it, 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 it is one of the uh, one of one of the most beautiful things about New Orleans rhythm that it does have a melodic rhythm to it you know with, with the right cats playing it you know it, they take it from the from the 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 vertical viewpoint to a more melodic rhythmic feel sound. Most of the stuff that, that I'm playing in music is on the cymbals. The drums are some accents, you know, in a timely manner, and they're very percussive. The, uh, the, the, the linear thing is very much a cymbal thing. When I'm looking at, when, I, when I'm listening for cymbals and picking out cymbals, I want, one, I want ones that have a, a, a pretty decay, a pretty length, uh, and, and, and not a tremendous amount of overtones, but enough to keep the sustain uh, pleasant. And then it's got, it's got the lyrical colors and qualities. 
and, and you know, such beautiful different colors and the symbols. You know, you close your eyes and you can see, you, you can hear it purple and green and yellow. I, I, I do, you know, it's, it, it, they give me those, those things to work with. In other words, I can get so much, so many different shades and hues out of, out of these symbols. That's why I like them. Tell you what, if you ever come to New Orleans, you gotta look me up, I'm easy to find. If you're hanging out on a Thursday night and you can stay up late, 11 o'clock, we start at the Maple Leaf on Oak Street. It's a different trio every Thursday, revolving cast of characters, but always a good, spontaneous trio and we party hardy and we have fun and uh, there's a lot of spontaneous magic happening because it's that kind of a thing.